Have you noticed a difference in the amount of food you crave just before you get your period? Well, this meta-analysis looked at whether there's a difference between energy intake in the follicular phase, which they considered between day one and day 14, and the luteal phase, which is after ovulation until you get your period. Let's dig into the data. What's interesting about this meta-analysis and the author's comment on this is that when it comes to women's health and hormonal health, research has come a long way in the last 30 years and it probably still has a long way to go, but it's starting to get there. So even though they searched through thousands of papers, only 15 made the cut. Of these 15, eight showed that there was a difference between the follicular phase and the luteal phase. More specifically, they found that there was an increase in energy intake in the luteal phase. And the idea is that this could be to sort of prepare for pregnancy, which is a very energy demanding task. But there were also a lot of differences between the paper's results. And almost half of the papers found that there also wasn't a difference between the two phases. I think the thing that's really interesting is for us to consider how this affects us as an individual. So if you're someone who menstruates, looking at is there a difference in how much food I'm craving during my cycle? You could look at tracking your energy intake alongside tracking your cycle to see if this is something that affects you. This could not only affect the way that we do nutrition planning, but also the way we do exercise programming to help improve the way health programs and weight loss programs run. I'm Lauren, I'm a scientist, nutritionist, and personal trainer, and every Friday I share a study that relates to how we can fuel our body to ignite our mind. Thanks for watching, hope to see you again soon.